you've been listening to the political ads over the past few weeks, you've heard the term middle class over and over. And that had Barbara from Mound wondering who is in the middle class. And Heather Brown joins us right now. So you found out there's really not one standard <laughs> definition. No, there's not. From talking to all the people I did today and from looking at government documents, basically the middle class is what you think it is. Pew Research found that 44% of people identify as solidly middle class, and that's down from 53% back in 2008. For the middle class. For the forgotten middle class. It's for the middle class. Did politicians just make up this term, the middle class? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been around a long time. Joe Peshek teaches political science at Hamlin. The middle class doesn't have an exact definition. We know what the poverty level is. We know what the median household income is. But the middle class is something that people define in different ways for political purposes. Who is in the middle class? Maybe 30 to 50,000 a year. It's the people between the poverty level and the CEO level. I'd like to think I am, but I don't know. Once you get to that six figure a year type status, then you can, I guess you can call yourself upper class. I ain't quite there yet. The Minnesota Department of Revenue estimates in 2015, the middle 60% of Minnesota's households will make between 18 and $101,000. If you get up to, you know, maybe over 250 for a family of four, you're probably rich. The top 5% of households, 202,000, and the top 1%, 510,000. Some people think, like, if I need $100,000, I'd just be starting to have everything, and I still don't feel like I would here because it's so expensive. One thing about the middle class today is, given the economic circumstances, the middle class feels that it's being challenged. It's not the guarantee of the good life as we knew it in post-World War II America. The U.S. Department of Commerce says, quote, middle class families are defined by their aspirations more than their income. People that are working really hard to make as much as they can and, you know, just scraping by. I'm just out here surviving, so <laughs> I guess you can call me middle class, yeah, because I'm not rich yet. Now, our overwhelming majority of self-described self -described middle classers say it's harder to maintain their standard of living than it was 10 years ago. And since all of this started because of the political ads, here's the party breakdown. About a third of those people who say they're middle class are Democrats, about a quarter are Republicans, and the rest say they're independent or they have no preference. Huh. So. so it's all evenly divided and yeah. not terribly definitive. No, it's it's really not. And you would think the government might have some sort of definition, but mm -hmm. they but they really don't. Like they said, it's really more about whether or not you have a mortgage, whether or not you have a car loan, you can send your kids to college. It's it's all really interesting. It, it is. is. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right. Thanks, Heather. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Heather. If you have a good question for us, you can email Heather by going to wcco.com/links.